today's video, we're going to be breaking down a little 4-3, even 6-1 gameplay for you. And uh, just going to be kind of talking through what I'm doing, why I'm doing it, and how I'm doing it. I think 6-1 is one of the better defenses in the entire game. If you want to get my full ebook on the defense, it's available by becoming a Patriot, or uh, I'm sorry, actually move sites by becoming a school.com community member. And if you're not a school.com community member, uh, it's a new site, new platform we're using for both Madden and for NCAA. Cool part about being a member is you're going to get access to both ebook or uh, both games uh, content. So you get all the NCAA content, all of the Madden content for ten dollars. Um, if you want to sign up for that, get access to all of my updated stuff. It's available in the description. But six one is kind of my favorite defense. I love this defense. I think I really. I just really like the way this defense plays. The only thing I don't like about the defense is kind of what it does against RPOs, but I love that it's symmetrical. I love that you can run it on baseline. I love that you there's a lot of different methods and ways to run it. What I like to do with it is put my curl flats on 20 um, or 25, and then we'll kind of play kind of some balanced uh, defense in terms of how we're going to utilize it. So really like this defense a lot. Again, if you want to get my full ebook on it, the link's going to be in the description. Um, and we've got it completely updated, completely revamped with some new blitz concepts, as well as uh, some new roster construction, which the cool part about 6-1 is you literally have, like, abilities are everywhere on the defense. So every now and then, you know, I'll shift and go to a 35 Mabel as well. Just kind of depends on on what my opponent is is really doing. So, like, right here, he's kind of showing the ability to be able to to kind of just run the ball every play. So, the cool part about 6-1, too, is I think it's the best run defense uh, in the game. There's a lot of different methods as well uh, to the run defense. So, the way this guy is playing, I do think the 35 is going to be the best way to probably defend him. So, we'll see if this defense kind of plays a little better for us. And the best playbook for 6-1, I'm actually in the Chiefs playbook, but the best playbook for 6-1 is the Patriots playbook. So if you're exclusively running 6-1, maybe consider switching to the Pats playbook because it, it's going to have the Tampa 2, and the Tampa 2 is really good for a lot of reasons. Uh, and one of those reasons being it's just really easy to adjust out of Tampa 2. All right, little K over the middle of the field. So one of the things I really like about 6-1 is that it has, like, it's a symmetrical formation, which I really think is, like, super important. Also, um, you can send, like, it, everything looks the same. I think in any defense you want to run, whether it's dollar, whether it's 3-3 cub, whether it's 6-1, 3-3-5 odd, and I have ebooks on all of these, you have to make everything look the same, right? You, you don't want to be, you, you don't want to be uh, giving different pre-snap looks because if you do that, then it's just kind of easy to, to kind of get on your tendencies and then kind of sit on certain things and they can have good combos for that. So now there are multiple methods in which you might want to run it. So, for example, like right here, we're going to get super aggressive and we're going to go ahead and show blitz. So the reason we're going to show blitz is so that I can play hard flat over here to the right. And then we're going to blitz this linebacker and kind of try to force a quick throw. Right. So every now and then if you want to I'm not saying never press. Right. I'm just saying, in general, you want the defense to kind of look the same. So you are ultimately going to be playing somebody, and you might press every play. You might not press every play. It just kind of depends on, on again, what you're playing. But the cool part about 6-1 that I like is if you know what your opponent's doing, there's a pretty good chance you're going to be able to, to contain it and stop it, uh, which, I, which I think is super important. Now, down here in the red zone, 6-1 is by far the best defense. And the way he's playing is kind of um, – it's, it's honestly kind of hard to play this guy because he's just kind of doing random stuff. So the way that you set up the run defense, there's a couple different methods uh, to running the defense as far as run defense. But the way that I like to do it, especially down in the goal line, is I'm going to go ahead and pinch crash down and man up the user. And then we're going to, you know, basically do this until and kind of force you to at least have to pass. And once we get you to pass, we're going to use the safeties on uh, 20 yard curl flats in the red zone. 20 yard curl flats. So like right here, he has to pass. This is a really, really good defense for for this situation because we have the hard flats and we have the purple. So if he if he passes, we should be okay. I'm gonna run stock quick slants, scramble out. Another reason why I like six one is for what you just saw right there. So basically, what we're able to do with the six one D, and we've actually got kind of a bad coverage call. I'm gonna let, let this guy go. We get the pick. 
that right there is like kind of a perfect drive as I totally <laughs> accidentally take the ball down to one. And I'm in Colts on offense, so if you want to get my Colts stuff, that's also linked in the description uh, down below. I think Colts is really, really, really good. Uh, it's pretty much the clear-cut best offense in the game this year. The only one that's even kind of close to Colts, it, it would be the – and, of course, I do that. I did not mean to do that. Uh, the only the only offense that's even close to Colts is Jets, and we have a full ebook on that as well. Actually, normally I'm running Jets, but I'm kind of messing with, with Colts here today, kind of doing some different stuff out of Colts, so – Anyway, we're going to go ahead and get out of here with the RPO, and then we'll be able to kind of talk through what we're doing because uh, we also have the quarter coming down here. So what I like to do in Colts, I just updated this ebook on the Patreon or uh, actually on the school page. I keep saying Patreon uh, on the school page. But basically what you can do with Colts is so many different methods and so many different ways in which you can actually run Colts. So you can run, you can run a lot of Bunch Nasty, Right, you can run a lot of um, kind of audible around RPO type stuff. You can um, run a little bit more of like a traditional, what I would consider like a pass heavy version of Colts. There's just so many different ways to run the offense, which is it's a super deep playbook. That's another reason why I think this is a really good formation uh, and really good offensive attack. So you see here, you have our, and the other thing is you have the the playbook has a ton of these RPO read screens which are the best RPOs in the game, and it has double posts, right? We know how good double post is. So, you know, I like to kind of kind of now, just because we're late in the year, we kind of know how the offense works. I kind of like to mess around with just different formations out of here too. So today you'll see kind of some some different stuff. Uh, the RPOs are just so good out of Colts, and, and, and that's one of the real serious reasons why most comp players are in Colts because you just have so many RPOs to choose from it's really hard to guard all of them and it makes offense RPOs make offense super easy uh, for you. So like you have this RPO read and the, again, the best RPOs are the RPO read uh, plays. And then of course you still have Colts uh, bunch, which is super good. It's the best bunch in the game by far. So anyways, we're gonna go to this setup of double post. It's probably my favorite setup of it uh, just because it really does well against every coverage. Actually, I had a touchdown if I had just a little bit longer in the pocket. Trying out this new Tom Brady card, uh, which I really like him a lot. Uh, got really good abilities. Let's see here. He's going to go man. Going to go press cover man, cover zero man. And we'll just take the touchdown. You know, if you're going to play coverage like that, we're going to take that over the top. For just for fun, I'm going to go for two. Kind of mess around with some stuff out of Colts. It's got some really good uh, two-point conversion plays as well. Which, again, this is just something that, you know, Jets, or what most people would tell you is Jets has a tendency to kind of struggle a little bit in the red zone. Whereas Colts, there's just so many things to choose from. Now, of course, I'm going to say that. And I might actually throw a pick here, but I actually get a laser from Big Tom. The cool part about Tom Brady this year, like Tom Brady, really, honestly, if you look back in previous Maddens where he's actually played in the NFL, he really hasn't been like the clear-cut best quarterback at any one time, especially in Mutt just because his speed has always been way too slow or his release hasn't been the best release or his ability stack wasn't right. They really got it right with this Tom Brady card. This Tom Brady card has the best release in the game, uh, which is important. It's not the fastest quarterback in the game, but it is fast enough where you can kind of get away with that. So I really am kind of uh, through the moon about this, uh, this Tom Brady card right here. New coverage defense here I'm working with kind of, kind of, there's, like I said, there's a couple of different ways in which you can run 6-1. One. one of the ways that I like to run it is pressed, um, which does take your ability to double flat uh, away a little bit. But what you can do is what you'll see I'm going to do here is kind of do a defense like this where you're using those 25-yard purple zones. And there you see we got big cam. I'm still rocking the 70 out of 70 Super Bowl theme team this late in the year. And the reason why is really – it truly is for pretty much Cam Chancellor. Uh, Cam Chancellor is so good uh, on that theme team because he's got the 99 speed, but he's also got the the universal coverage ability where if you, you can basically light it up if you want to use that. If you don't agree with pre prelits, then go build a Chargers theme team where they put the prelits as abilities now. <laughs> so whatever. Um, but anyway, love this setup out of Smash Returns, one of my favorite plays. Um, Give me that tight end drag. We'll just take what the defense gives us and continue to work the ball up and down the field on him. 
We'll probably run a little more bunch this game. I kind of miss just running straight up pure bunch. I really like the years where you just run like, run like one, maybe two formations, and you just master those formations. The thing that people don't understand uh, still about bunch and what makes bunch so good is truly the fact that you can flip the play so fast, and it has all, just so many good routes, so, so many good routes. Take that running back, juke inside. Bo Jackson normally breaks that tackle. I'm actually kind of surprised. I think another one of the real underrated plays in the in the Colts is just the audible to trips is so good. Like like this trips right here is so good because that juke right there is I mean it's almost free, so you can easily just get into that. There's just so much you can do with Colts. You've got you got the you got the plethora of RPOs to choose from. You've got the bunch strong nasty, which is a really good formation. Uh, and the cool part is they just they just really do. They have the best RPOs in the game, like this RPO read. Every single time that our defender is going to blitz, this is almost free to the right as long as he breaks the tackle. Didn't break the tackle there for me, unfortunately. And we are going to get an illegal man downfield. But but in general, like those RPO reads are especially from four strong, whether it's from the trips tied in formation that has all four receiving threats on one side or it's from the bunch strong where you have the four receiving threats on one side. Both of those are super, super good. Um, and you see how quickly this game flips. You know, the, the 6 1 gives you the capability to play really good red zone defense, which kind of opens up everything else. So at this point in the game, I kind of like to go into more of this basic, kind of more basic here, uh, just because of the way that he's going to play. And so we are going to get a little more, more, more basic with our coverage. And we're just trying to keep the lid on because you see now we're going to get some of this random stuff. This Y61, I think, just really takes the cake for the best defense because, at least right now, just because it handles a lot of the random stuff that you're going to see really well. And then from there, you're able to kind of adjust to other things. But I like that you basically say to people, a good 6-1 player, like you're never going to really give up a, a heavy running attack, which is super, super important, right? And then you can kind of build your coverages around that. You know, and then, of course, you still have the best blitz in the game, um, at least the fastest blitz in the game. So, we'll, situationally here, you know, we'll kind of go back to this. Pretty much default, though, I love to have those 30-yard curl flats. Um, or not 30-yard, but 20, 20, 20 to 25-yard curl flats. They're really helpful for defending any of your trips, bunch, formations, because you're able to put that deep curl flat out there to be able to take away those short corners that people like to do with the double corner. Um, you're able just to play kind of a different style of Mabel, but still a really effective style. And it allows you to do some other some other things with your coverage on the back end of it. So that's why I like it. And again, defense is all about, you know, giving the same look, doing different things, forcing different, forcing different, um, different things from your opponent. So that's also super important to know. This is a super underrated setup of double post if they're running a lot of press man on you. See if I can get over the top there. Nice route, nice catch. But yeah, I mean, you could literally against most people double pose, verts, curl flat. That's pretty much and smash return. Those like four ish plays, and then the RPOs are pretty much it. Like, it's all you really need to be beaten. Majority of people you're gonna play. Almost throw a pick there. I feel like that return route randomly gets matched like that a lot. That's one of the unfortunate things. Little verts here. This is obviously a verts call. And Tom Brady actually got that off, which is kind of cool. <laughs> yeah, mixing in verts at the right time really does take this offense to a whole other level. Um, another really underrated setup, especially if you have the hot route master ability, would be something like what you see on your screen right here, just a little Y cross setup. It's really good for uh, just utilizing that short crosser that you get from the tight end. Super, super effective. So, like, right here, go smash return. I'm actually going to go with kind of a unique setup out of this. Let's see how this works. Nice catch. Nice catch. And we're just lasering out of Colts. <laughs> nice, nice, nice. All right, well, that's game one, and we'll get into game two here in uh, just a sec. All right, boys, game number two, six one defense. Kind of the same coaching adjustments we talked about. Going to do a little more blitzing this game, uh, hopefully. Get some more pressure for you. Kind of show you how good this defense can be on the blitz. 
Um, I think this is I think it's probably the best blitzing defense, in my opinion, just because it's simple and it's super fast. The pressure comes in super fast, and he's gonna be blind on the first play. And big, big is that George? I think that's George Mylotta or whatever Mylotta. He's a beast. He's got that mid zone KO, and uh, again Warren Colts. And one thing that I did want to talk about is just the idea of how to utilize these repetitions that you get in kind of um, ranked head to head or, or seasons or whatever you want to use. Uh, I heard Des talk about this one time and I, I thought this was a super, super good point. You want to use head to head seasons and kind of these different reps methods as getting good reps and building good habits as a player. Right. So, for example, you know, setting up your your playbook. Every game, that's an example of a good habit or, um, you know, kind of making sure you're mastering your read progressions and getting reps against different looks. That's a, an, another example of like what I would consider to be a, a really good habit to have. So to me, those are all super, super important. So you want to maximize the even though like even though, for example, like we're playing this guy and he, he was super blind first play, you know, you want to get into the the idea is just consistently build good habits and um, execute at a high level. It's super important. Um, it does matter, right? The more Madden you play, the more you'll find out it, it certainly matters. You could even make a legitimate argument that I should be just kicking field goals, right? But obviously, you can also kind of work on your scheme to a little bit, to a degree, like work on your red zone money plays or your red zone routes or work on your rollout skill or – you're just simple. Like one of my favorite things to tell people is Madden. If you think about it, if you do the work pre-snap and you do the work in film study and you do the work in preparation and like you get the eBooks and you understand what works and why it works and you have your, your stuff, the game is just basically mastering the execution of the things that you're doing, right? That is super, super important. The game is just mastering the execution of the system that you've built, right? You've built the system through practice mode, through ebooks, through film study, all those things. And the game mode is where we put on the we, we we basically come out here and we want to execute everything at a super super high clip. So that's that's the biggest you know I think really underrated piece of advice you could give could give somebody for how to utilize uh, head to head is this is where your reps this is where you you kind of essentially cement the the scheme and you could even make an argument that you do that in uh, rep games as well but you know for us this is our version of that but anyway uh, Kobe Bryant's famous for saying this and it's something I think about a lot is Kobe Bryant is famous for saying uh, let's set up a coverage real quick that he never took a shot in an NBA game that he had not previously pr uh, prepared or practiced. So he had so many repetitions with all of these different methods and shots that when he got to the game, it was automatic because he had, he had prepared, he had, he had practiced them, right? Super, super important tip. There we go, nice D. And, and obviously you can't prepare for every single thing that you're going to see, but – because, like, he's doing wing tight. But wing tight is kind of similar to, like, tight on one side, spread on the other side. It's honestly kind of similar to bunch in terms of how you would treat it um, because you have, you know, a, a significant – you have that little tight uh, formation on the left and the spread-up formation on, on the right or, like, trip side in with the two receivers one side, right? So you could even treat wing tight like you treat spread, for example. But anyway, we're going to send some pressure – Nice defense, fourth and 14 now. And now we're really going to be able to send them. Looking for that cut, looking for that cut. He's going to try to ag me. It's not going to work. And we're able to get another stop. So Colts ebook is updated. 6-1 is updated too. Uh, bo again, both of these are available on the school.com community page. Double post. See, it's a great example. It's like I look to that flat, I quick throw the flat, right? It's it's just building that muscle memory of you're always you're always progressing, always going through your reads. One of my favorite setups out of verticals, a lot of people don't run this. This is basically Durham if you run it like this. Um, and that's a weird coverage. Kind of got a cover two man. 
kind of a weird – you don't see that a lot. This is also why I think head-to-head is important because you see everything. Like people do all kinds of different things in, in head-to-head. I was trying to hit that tight end. I almost threw a D-line pick. So third and ten. One of my best plays for man is actually in Bunch Strong. See how fast you can flip this formation? That's what, I mean, just really makes it a good, a really good formation. There he kind of busts the coverage, able to hit the tick over the top, and hit him with that nice post out of wide trail. The cool part, that's what I was saying. Like, again, this is why Bunch is always going to be a good offense. Just the layout of Bunch, and even Bunch strong to a degree. They're not only do they have the best routes in the game, like they have really good routes, they have really good way, ability, uh, they have the ability to pick up a lot of different pressure that your opponent's going to give you. Let me see if I can catch that. <laughs> um, you, you can pick up a lot of the blitzes that you're going to be able to, you're going to be faced with, with, with bunch offset specifically. But another really underrated aspect of bunch offset, bunch tight end, bunch strong offset, bunch strong nasty, tight slots, any tight formation, these, uh, these like compression formations, they flip super fast. So you're able to, you know, kind of always be in a formation. You're always, you're always in a position of strength with, with your formation, which is really cool. Whereas trips, like trips is kind of generally speaking is best when ran to the wide side of the field, right? So if I, if I attack that wide side of the field, if I no huddle to the line of scrimmage, it's going to put me in, in an unfavorable position uh, just in terms of, in terms of what's going to be available to me from a, from a route perspective, I'm going to have to flip it, and then that flip takes forever, and that flip is not necessarily, like, it, it doesn't really do anything to help your, to help you. So that's another reason why I really like bunch, uh, tight, right, U-trips would be another. I actually prefer trips and U-trips, but from the simple kind of component of flipping your defense, bunch and tight are the clear the clear winners in that. So that's that's uh, something else. Kind of expecting a run here. Take that away. Fumble. I'm standing right there, but I can't get the ball. That's awesome. Might be Jordan Mylot is how you say his name. Throw this curl. Right at my user. All right. Let's do 20-yard curl flats. It's one of my favorite defenses for trips. Essentially just man-lock that bubble screen. Of course he caught that. He's rocking Tom Brady, too. I wonder if he's got the – oh, he's got Omaha. So he's got the – that's what's crazy is this guy has, like, the best Tom Brady card in the world, and we're running inside zone with Dickerson. Go good D, good D. All right, second down and twenty. We can go with a little cover two coverage here to the left. Try and really get some pressure. Take the ball away, and we'll see if he sticks around. Get out of there with Big Chuck. That's another reason why we're on the Super Bowl theme team. Big Chuck Halley is, he's him. He's so good. Ninety nine speed. He's got the same thing that Kent Chancellor has. All right, boys. Well, thanks for watching the video. Hope you enjoyed it. If you want to get those ebooks linked in the description, get everything for $10 by becoming a school.com member for NCAA and for Madden.